Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm out in deepest Hampshire today in the village of Selborne and I've come to Gilbert White's house in Selborne, the original naturalist, the David Attenborough of his day, although he was the original of course. Let's go and have a look inside the house. I've been wanting to visit this house for a long time. I wanted to go down to A3 and do paranormal stuff in Portsmouth. Also a signpost to Gilbert White's house. I've never visited, but now I am. Apparently no one really knows what Gilbert White looked like. There's not been an accurate representation or painting of his likeness. They've got some ideas, but, um, hello. Uh, but yeah, a big Thunderbirds puppet. But no one actually knows what he really looked like. This house is called The Wakes, called The Wakes, and it's the, um, his home where he lived. Yeah, he really was Britain's first ecologist in the 1700s. Lovely views into the grounds here. Demonstrated the passion of a man obsessed with his environment. And here it is, the Natural History of Selborne manuscript. This book is still in print today, still in print today, two, three hundred years on. Isn't that amazing? The original manuscript. I think it says on this page that's opened up um, August the 1st, 1791. 1791. Gilbert White was also the local curate at the local church. He wasn't the vicar, but he was a local curate. He was born into a religious family and will visit the church um, after this. This is the discovery room, it's called. Lovely. Yeah, many artists have contributed illustrations to the natural history of Selborne, and the artists featured in this room are just a small sample encompassing three centuries. Let's go up the creaky staircase. Oh, the Oats Galleries, when I look at that. Captain Oates on 17th of March 1912, his 32nd birthday, Oates walked out of the tent to his death, that his friends might have a chance to live, so, you know, I'm going outside now, I might be done sometime. What an act of sacrifice. Good movie, uh, Scott of the Antarctic, in the 1950s, about the um, doomed ex 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 expedition. Ex expedition. God, I can't even speak. Expedition. Look in here. This is his study. Gilbert White's study. house. Should I come here before actually? Gilbert White's bed chamber. I've got to keep it in low light because of the material up on the bed. That's where he slept. 
even Charles Darwin was really influenced and was an admirer of Gilbert White of his research into the natural world. The kitchen. Perhaps you would give a couple on my desk in the study for me to dissect. Mm -hmm. Ah, now I see my breakfast tray. The old kitchen. They've got these recordings going on, they're really good. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah, so the museum celebrates the lives of three explorers of the natural world. Obviously Gilbert White, Captain Oates and Frank Oates. It's been really interesting, a little walk around the house. What we'll do now is go over to the church and find Gilbert White's grave. It's really busy with the cars going through, but look, I love this. Sullivan Black, 1720 to 1793, libertine, opium eater, drunkard, duelist, gambler and wastrel lived and died here. Isn't that fantastic? Famous Selbourne, Selbourne Pottery. The Hangers Way, that a national, must be a, a walking trail, the Hangers Way. And those who like um, Jane Austen, her house is just about six miles up the road at um, Alton. We went there about, oh God, I think about 2009, me and Annalisa, who's a big Jane Austen fan. So Mary's church dates from 1180, but there was a church on the site previously, a Saxon church. Um, so it goes right back, right back. The yew tree here is 1400 years old, 1400 years old. Probably predated both churches, but blew down in 1990 in a storm. Unfortunately, so there's only sort of a hollow bark bit left so that's such a shame he has a little commor uh, commemorative plaque down here the tree council in celebration of the golden jubilee of her majesty <laughs> very apt at the moment uh, the shelbourne yew is one of the great british trees in recognition of its place in the national heritage june 2002 but it was blown down in uh, 1990 So there you have it, the grave of Gilbert White, 1720 to 1793, pioneering naturalist. And interestingly, the uh, church was greatly uh, expanded and improved in the 19th century by his great nephew, because uh, Gilbert was um, curate here. I think a couple of other parishes as well, but this was his, his, main, his main church. Absolutely fascinating. I don't think it is an old door, but, well, that old, but you've got to have a door alert, haven't you? 
God, the sun's really bleached here. I do apologise. It's a very, very sunny day. And that's a Norman Tower, everyone. A Norman Tower. As I said, most of this church dates from 1180 on the site of an earlier church. Um, very old. That's a nice way of doing a crucifix cross. Um, it was hanging on wires because it's supposed to be magic. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hmm. I think that's a very ancient bit of stone there. Very interesting. And apparently that is a Saxon font. Saxon font. And here's a cut out from a part of the tree, part of the stump, and all the rings and the history that's happened within those rings. <laughs> yeah, 1720 Gilbert White curator Bourne. <laughs> Amazing. The Solborn U. I think it was all there for all that time and got blown down in 1990. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the video. Fascinating walk around Gilbert White's house here in Selborne in Hampshire. And we went over to the church, which was really interesting. Um, I love these little villages. Uh, you know, they're, they're, although there's a busy road going through, it can be a bit full on at times. Uh, there's, even when you're in the house, it's right by the roads. You're constantly hearing traffic, but you know, 100 years ago, that wasn't the case. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do the old like, subscribe, all the normal stuff. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.